God bless you. God bless you as you're coming in. I see YouTube is strong on here early, early this morning. God bless you all. Amen. Where are you coming in from? Shout your state out. We want to honor where God is, your region this morning. We always honor you and we pray and bless over your region in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you this morning. Amen. I'm excited about what the Lord is going to do today. God bless you all as you're coming on. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you all. Amen. Pennsylvania, God bless you, Sister Yolanda. Amen. Good to see you this morning. Amen. 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 Chicago, God bless you. Amen. Sister Sarah, God bless you. Amen. Glory be unto God. Greetings from South Africa. God bless you. Amen. Angela from Ham Hampton, Georgia. Amen. God bless you. <clears throat> Amen. <clears throat> Amen. South Carolina, Veronica. Amen. Amen. God bless you from Tennessee. Amen. God bless you all from Charleston. Amen. Stone Mountain, Georgia. Amen. Miami is on. Florida is on. Virginia is on. We got, we bless all of you as you're coming on. Amen. Amen. We pray for your region that the Lord cover you. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord protect you from all evil. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord guide you. I speak the peace of God over you as you're coming on in Jesus name. Amen. Glory be unto God. Well, listen, I'm Jackie Fleming and it's an honor to be on Apostles John Eckhart's page. Amen. He's my spiritual father. And I thank God for the mantle that's on his life and for such a, a amazing anointing that's on him uh, for opening this door for me to minister live on his broadcast today. So I'm live on Apostle <clears throat> John Eckhart's um, page on Facebook and I'm live on my YouTube page. So we're live on YouTube on my page, and then we're live on Apostle John Eckhart's on his Facebook page. And so we bless God for him, and I honor the man of God. And so many of you are like, hey, uh, I came to see Apostle, uh, but he has opened the door for me to be able to minister. So uh, those of you who uh, need prayer this morning, we're going to pray uh, uh, prophetic declarations of your life to not give up not to give up and refuse to be defeated and open your mouth and begin to speak over your life and speak over your destiny, what God wants over your life. And you have a mandate. Someone says, I have a mandate. I have a mandate this morning. God has given me a mandate. Everybody that's watching, God has given us a mandate this morning. We got to open our mouths. We Every morning, we got to open our mouths. Every morning, we got to open our mouths. There is a time to rest. Yes, rest. Get some rest. There's a time to rest in God. Amen. Don't get it confused. Don't get it confused. Don't get it confused. There is a time to rest. There's a time where you shut up and you just let God speak. Yes, you may go walking and you're resting. You may, you may, uh, you know, just rest in God. Sometimes you can, you know, spend the whole day tomorrow resting, meaning I rest in God. I have given it to God. I have prayed the prayer. Listen, if you prayed the prayer of faith and you have done your part, there are times that you should just rest. I have prayed. Now I'm resting. I'm trusting in God. I know he's not a man that he should lie. I'm resting in him. I'm not in anxiety. I'm not in stress. I'm not worried. I'm not concerned about what people are saying or what people can do. I know where my help comes from. I don't know who God going to use to bless me, but all I know is I stay focused on him. I keep my eyes on him. I'm not looking for a door. God is my door. Come on, somebody. And you rest in him. You rest in his promises. You rest in his goodness. You rest in his mercy. You rest in God. Yes, there is power in resting in God, <clears throat> but know the differences between resting in God and uh, when you have a, a mandate to speak things, because there's some people, all they do is rest. All they do is rest and God got them in the palm of their hands. But if you want to see things change, if you want to see things rearrange in your life, you got to learn how to speak over your destiny. If you keep your mouth closed, things will stay closed for you. God has given us authority as believers here on this earth. We have a mandate. And by God, we have to begin to open our mouths just like Adam and speak. 
Adam had to speak and name the animals. We have to speak over our lives and, 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 and then use the name of Jesus. After you finish, you need to say, in the name of Jesus, I'm blessed. In the name of Jesus, I'm healed. In the name of Jesus, I command resources to flow. In the name of Jesus, I, things are going to get better. I, you know, there are some of you, you're in a situation right now. You got to decree and declare things are going to get better. Things are going to get better. There, there's going to be a turnaround in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. And you have to understand that, that there is a time and there's a place for everything. Thing. Glory be unto God. And so I'm excited about today. I hope you are. And let's get, get into prayer this morning. And those of you who are watching the replay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be unto God. Well, listen, I'm excited. We had glory nights last night. The Lord has blessed us to have a monthly service. Don't miss next month, November. November. Yes. November's glory night. Um, we're excited about what the Lord is going to do last night. I'm still blown away. I'm still blown away <clears throat> by the testimonies, by God demonstrating his word. Go back on my page and watch the replay. Um, I, uh, let me see. So you all can, um, see, but go back on my page and watch the replay. I'm telling you, it is going to bless you to just the testimonies that the Lord told me certain specific scriptures to decree and to declare. And I began to speak these scriptures and then people got up and testify towards the end. And it was like, you know, this scripture is what I needed for what I'm going through. You know, uh, I mean, there were so many testimonies, but that, but I just want to let you know that the spirit of the Lord, it was so many supernatural testimonies that the Lord released that night. And so I don't want you to miss next month, November. Amen. Because this is glory nights. And the next one would be um, November the 17th. It's free. It's open to the public. If you know that you're in a place in your life where you're not producing, you need to be in one of these act act activation services. If you know you're in a place in your life where you, your spiritual gifts are dull. You know, one, one lady last night, she said, I came here tonight because I wanted to be activated to pray in the spirit. I know how powerful it is that as a believer, we must be activated with our prayer language. It it, 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 it it answers a lot of problems. It solves a lot of problems, praying in the spirit. And so um, <clears throat> one lady, she testified last night. It's all on capture on the video. Just just uh, uh, click on my page. I'll tag my name at the end of the video uh, just to see some of the, the miraculous move of God. Listen, no one laid hands on this lady. No one. Normally we'll call people down for those to be activated to um, pray in the spirit. But Holy Spirit did something different last night because it was a training and activation service. He said, tonight the people must learn how to pray. Somebody just type that in the comment section. I must learn how to pray. I must. And so he told me, don't handicap the people. Let them come down and pray. And as they're walking and they're praying, I'm going to heal them. Listen, I, I woke up this morning with two ladies inboxing me saying, listen, I was burning. My stomach was burning. My, my body was burning. One lady said she was about to call the hospital because she was burning so bad on her, but she didn't know supernaturally God was healing her, the itch and all that was going. So I want those intercessors that are called. You're not, so many people are so selfish. They don't pray for nobody but themselves. I want those of you who are intercessors to continue to pray for people who are receiving their healing, that they, that they, uh, that the, the sickness will not return. Amen. I'm, I'm praying. I want you to be praying as well, that these things will not return. 
that they will completely see the healing virtue of God. That's why you have to continue. We talked about birthing things out in prayer, prayer how you birth things out in prayer. And tonight was so miraculous. We, we just had people testify. Last night was so miraculous. So we must learn how to pray. You can't allow yourself to be handicapped. Listen, don't miss next month, November. Get to Atlanta or watch us virtually. Amen. You got to be in the service and there's no distance in the spirit. Amen. So November and December, we're closing out the year strong. We're closing out the year strong. We'll be there November and we'll be there December. And so listen, uh, people are already registering for November. We ask that you register because uh, we have to be wise to let the church know that we're renting out to let them know how many people that um, uh, we can fit in that building. And so November Amen. We will be a night of worship, a night of training and activation for the supernatural power of God. So uh, don't miss next month. Make sure you get registered. I'm excited about what God is doing. The link to register is right here. You just go here and it'll let you register for November and let you register for December. It's free. It's open to the public. Amen. But we ask that you register so we uh, can know how many people to prepare for. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. So here's the link. And we are so excited. So last night I am in overflow from the service last night. I am in overflow from the service last night. Just the mighty testimonies that we received last night. Wow. When that lady said no one laid hands on her, God himself loosed her tongues. Oh, the Holy Ghost was in there. It was so many angels released that night. It was powerful. It was so supernatural. This lady came up and blessed us with all these cupcakes from this expensive cupcake store. And then it was another, my husband said, another church comes in and started giving everybody free food from Chick-fil-A, boxes of free food. I'm, and we was like, what's going on? People said, the glory. Everybody kept saying the glory. You can't stop the glory of God. Listen, the glory will, will send resources. The glory will send provision. One lady said she got there, did not even have gas. She found $20 on the ground and was able to put gas in her tank. And the Lord told me I was supposed to sow into two people when they got there. And I was waiting on the opportunity to sow, you know, and I'm like, Lord, how do you want me to do this? How do you want me to do this? You know, I, you know, because there's some things I'm believing God for. So you sow your way out. And so I, I begin to, you know, just flow by the spirit. And towards the end, the Holy Spirit said, ask if someone has gas. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. Holy Spirit was like, ask and see if someone had gas. Money, does somebody need gas? Now, mind you, with, with integrity, you know, you want to be truthful, you know, but there was nobody that raised their hand and the lady screamed and she was crying and she said, yes, I need gas. And that's when we gave her gas money, you know, to go fill her tank up and overflow. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Not just enough of gas, but enough to go and get us something to eat. So we just praise God. Hallelujah for his faithfulness and just being in a service where the spirit of the Lord, the Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. There is liberty. You will get free when the spirit, when God shows up, you will get free. Amen. Glory be unto God. So I can't wait to minister with you next fr um, next month, November. That's the month of Thanksgiving. Amen. Glory be unto God. Gratitude. Amen. Then December, we're going to close this year out strong. Amen. Glory be unto God. But my assignment today, amen, on here is for those who, who need a push to not give up. Don't complain about what's going on if you're not going to pray about it. Have you prayed about what you're going through more than you talked about it? Have you prayed about it? Yes, Prophetess Trina is on. Yes, Prophetess Trina. Yes, that was one of the most powerful testimonies as well. <clears throat> Another lady got up and testified that she was led to come to the service last month, but a demon would, wouldn't allow her to step in the door. She said, I drove up, got there, 
And she said that that spirit would not let her come in. She said, I had to, she said, I'm under a lot of curses. I'm under a lot of curses. And she said, I left. Can you believe that this lady pressed her way to get to a service? But there was a spirit that was on her and her family that said, you are not getting set free. Do, now, do you see how powerful it is that we get out of our selfishness and begin to pray for people? You know, begin to pray. Lord, loose God's people, wherever somebody is and they and they are being in bondage by the devil. Loose, we have to pray. It's not about us. It's not about, well, you know, there's some people, they won't pray if you don't give them the mic. If I got the mic, I'll pray. No, it's not about if you got the mic. It's about the will of God being birthed out in this earth. And that is someone literally needs prayer. Amen. And, the, and this particular week, the Lord had me and my husband praying. We had intercessors. We was praying. There was so much resistance in the spirit, but we kept praying. We kept praying. We kept praying. And that lady said, today it broke. We was fasting and praying, fasting and praying. She said, today it broke. Just like the man in the Bible, when, when the prophet went to him and said, it will take seven days for you to get healed, but you got to go to Jordan River and get dipped in there seven times. It may not, listen, it took a whole month from this lady to be released, to come to the service. She walked in the service last night and God set her free. Listen, I'm excited. Listen, we're not doing the services just to be doing it. There are testimonies. The Lord told me during prayer. He said, I'm going to demonstrate my word in these people's lives. And to hear the testimonies are so powerful. It is so powerful. Amen. 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 Let's begin to pray. Hallelujah. I want everyone to begin to get your mind focused today. I don't know what you believe in God for. Kim Tyson, God bless you. I see you're registering for Glory Nights. Amen. Glory be unto God. Amen. I see many of you registering for next month. Amen. God bless you. Can't wait to see you in the building. Amen. Listen. When there are resistance coming against you, that's the time you push. When something is telling you, just watch it online. That's the time you go. Because something is going to break out, not just in you, but in your family, in your children. The time where the enemy say, don't go, that's when you go. When the time where the enemy say, give up, that's when you push more. Because I'm telling you, you got to you gotta play reverse psychology on that devil. You're not going to make me give up. You're not going to make me stop. You're not going to make me quit. I'm telling you, there is a, a, there's a pressing that I'm going to do by the spirit of God and push my way. I'm going to push my way like the woman with the issue of blood. I'm going to push my way in the name of Jesus. I want everybody to come on and tell God, thank you. Come on, let's pray today. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you honor. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we reverence you. Lord, we bow before you. Lord, we tell you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this day. Thank you for our life. Thank you, Lord God, for your presence. Thank you, Lord God, for your protection. Thank you, Lord God, for keeping us. Thank you, Lord God, for making ways out of no way. Thank you, Lord God, for leading us and guiding us. Thank you for supernatural encounters with you. Thank you, Lord God, for leading us. Our steps are ordered by the Lord because of you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We will never be where there's danger because the Lord guides us. We will never be where there is where, where there is uh, confusion because the Lord guides us and directs us. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We, we bless you for victory. Thank you for victory today. We already have the victory. We pray from a place of victory, not a place of defeat. We thank you for supernatural victory in the name of Jesus. We already have the victory in ministry. We have the victory in business. Our children have the victory. Our spouses have the victory. We have the victory over ourselves in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah for our blessing us, blessing us to sleep, 
waking us up this morning. We thank you, Lord God, that we are blessed. I want you to prophesy over your life today and just begin to speak the blessings of God over you today. Lord, we are blessed. My hands are blessed. My mind is blessed. My eyes are blessed. My ears are blessed. My body is blessed. My hands are blessed. My family is blessed. My children are blessed. We are not cursed. We are are blessed. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. Begin to open your mouth and declare, we are blessed in the name of Jesus. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed when I come in. I'm blessed when I go out. My finances are blessed. My home is blessed in the name of Jesus. We are blessed. Hallelujah. I don't care what I'm going through. God always causes me to triumph. I don't care what I'm going through. I always come out on top. I don't care what I go through. I'm going to always win because I'm on the winning side. I don't care what attack is coming against me. No weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper because I'm covered by the blood. I'm protected by the blood. I run to the secret place. I don't try to figure it out. I run to Jesus because he's the author and he's the finisher of my faith in the name of Jesus, I declare that we win. Hallelujah. We're on the winning side. In the name of Jesus, I run to the secret place. Psalms 91. That's the place the enemy can't find me. That's the place the enemy can't touch me. I run to Jesus and I'm covered in the blood. My body is covered in the blood. I put a blood shield of protection around me, a firewall around me, a firewall around you, a firewall around my children. Oh, I I cover my home. I cover my possessions. I cover our finances in the blood. Cover the business in the blood. Cover the job in the blood. Cover that marriage in the blood. No weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. Refuse to be defeated today. I refuse to sit and allow the devil to defeat me. I will not be defeated. Come on, open your mouth. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. I will not be defeated. We coming out of this thing. We coming out of this thing. And we going to come out with a testimony. We coming out with our hands up. We coming out testifying. We're coming out prophesying. We coming out full of joy. We coming out with peace. We're coming out. Hallelujah. Everything that the canker worm and the palmer worm and the caterpillar has stolen. The locust has eaten up from us. We declare in the name of Jesus. There must be double for our trouble. Everything. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. In the name of Jesus, I will, I refuse to be defeated. My children won't be defeated. My marriage won't be defeated. We won't be defeated in ministry. We won't be defeated in business. We won't be defeated. My life will not be defeated. In the name of Jesus, I don't care what demon is sent from my bloodline. We, You will not defeat us. I don't care what what was the what was sent to my way? We will not be defeated. If I gotta pray morning, noon, and night, I will pray. I will pray. If I gotta pray, hallelujah, morning, noon, and night, I will pray until that thing breaks in the name of Jesus. Oh, the Lord says, I want to reveal to you where the enemy is hiding. He says, I got to reveal to you where the enemy is hiding. I want to reveal to you where that enemy is hiding. Lord, show me uh, where the enemy is hiding. Uh, Lord, show me uh, so I can take him out, uh, so I can resist the devil. Uh, you will not wear me out. Uh, you will not wear me out. Uh, you will not wear me out. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, show me uh, where the enemy is hiding. Uh, it may be in that gossiping person. It may be over there in that lying person. Uh, it may be over there in that one and uh, that one. But listen, I resisted him. I see where the attack was coming from. I now see where the attack was coming from. Yes, 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 yes. You will not hide. You will not hide there. I, 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 I resist this. You will not wear me out. You will not wear me out in ministry. Lord, show me where the devil is hiding in ministry. Oh, the thing that keeps coming to make sure we stay in defeat. Oh, Lord, you will not, oh, devil, you will not, you will not wear me out. Lord, show us 
us. Hallelujah. So we can resist the enemy. Oh, show us what the enemy is hiding in our finances. Uh, that thing that always come to keep us living paycheck to paycheck. I resisted him in the name of Jesus. Lord, open our eyes to see him. Lord, show us in dreams. Give us a vision. And when you show us, we won't be surprised. We will learn to resist the enemy. And if the devil got to flee, you will not be worn out. You will not be worn out. You will, before this year ends, you will not be worn out saying, I feel like giving up. I, I rebuke that giving up spirit. I rebuke that throne in the tower spirit. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord give you peace. In the name of Jesus, the first sign of depression is when the enemy silence you. The first sign of depression, you can tell a person that's going through depression, they will silence. The devil silence them. He brings them to a point of silence. He brings them to a point of silence. You can tell when a person is going through, they are being, they are, the devil brings them to a point of silence. Depression will silence you. They, I'm telling you, a person who's under depression, they can't move, they can't do, they can't think, they can't, they just, they literally silence. And the enemy begins to speak in their ears. That's like last night when we begin to pray for people. There were some people I had to put my hands over their ear. And the Lord says, supernaturally, there were angels shutting the ears, the, 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 the voice of the enemy, silencing the voice. You're going to know God's truth. You're going to know God's love. You're going to know that God loves you. You're going to listen. You're going to run to the horns of the altar. Next time you feel like giving up, run to God. Run to God. Don't run run to people, run to God, because God is going to silence every evil attack that has come against you in the name of Jesus. Depression will bring you to a point where you can no longer speak. And many people who are under deep depression, one of their most complaints is, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why this had to happen to me. I don't know why I had to go through this. I don't know why I had to be born in this family. I don't know why I, I, you know, my finances had to get hit. I don't know why I'm under so much. Listen, you will marry a person and that person brought you into so much debt. Now you're trying to get them out of debt. You're trying to get yourself out of debt. Depression gets you to a point where you don't know why. And that's what they're, 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 they're complaining about. I don't know why. Life is unfair. Life is unfair. You get on social media and there's so many people posting and bragging and rejoicing. They're smiling and they're constantly living, living up life. And you're like, but life is unfair for me. You don't know. I have to sleep at night with a child that is being tormented by demons every night. Some children are so sick. Their baby, listen, there's some parents can't get no sleep at night. That's how depression brings you poor. And then you get on, then you get on social media and you see people enjoying their children. And you see them out there laughing with their children. And then you look and say, why do I, why was I put like this? Where I have to literally stay up all night, can't get no sleep because they're having uh seizures. And I got to make sure if I got to rush, I, you know, either you being rushed to the hospital, something, one thing after the other, it is happening to this person. They feel like life isn't fair, but I came to prophesy over you. You are not a victim. You are already victorious. You probably saying, no, you don't understand my story. I'm here to tell you, you are not a victim. Refuse to be defeated. Refuse to die like this. Refuse to let your story end like this. If life is not fair, the way you make it fair is by speaking the word of God. The way you make it fair is by speaking the word of God over your life. Begin to open up your mouth and speak what be, speak those things that be not as though they are. Begin to speak and say, my children are healed. Begin to speak and say, we're coming out. Speak 
speak, don't speak the negative things. Begin to speak, my life is getting better. My life is becoming wonderful. In the name of Jesus, I'm coming out of the storm. In the name of Jesus, God is going to rearrange some things for me. In the name of Jesus, God is going to rewrite my story. I don't know about you, but some of us need God to rewrite our stories. We need God to turn it around. We need God to change some things. I don't know about you, but somebody need to open your mouth and say, Lord, rewrite my story in the name of Jesus. Rearrange some things for me. I need you to do something supernaturally for me in the name of Jesus. Somebody silence depression. I rebuke depression. I cast it out. I cast it out. I rebuke it. Take your hands off of me. Take your hands off of me. Take your, I will not go into a cave. I got too much purpose in me in the name of Jesus. And that spirit will not run down in my family. It will not follow my children. It will not follow my grandchildren in the name of Jesus. You're going to look up now that you're not depressed. Now your baby's depressed. Now your grandchildren depressed. That is a bloodline devil. We rebuke it. You will not touch the next generation. I, I put an end to that spirit now. I put an end to that spirit. Now. Be like David. There's a David's anointing that's being released upon this live right now in the name of Jesus. You got some giants to take out. You got some giants to take out. And one of them are depression. It's depression. Take that giant out. That Some people don't understand how, how, how that, that spirit is nasty. Depression is nasty. It'll have you so sad. It'll have you sick. It'll have you uh, creating sicknesses in you. Oh, you don't understand. It's like everybody's light around them, but darkness is all over you. The blood of Jesus over you. The Lord is going to rewrite your story in the name of Jesus. He's rewriting your story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and they are safe. I want you to call on the name of the Lord every day. Jesus, we call upon you. Jesus, I call upon you. Jesus, overtake this family. Jesus, silence every attack. Jesus, cover this family in the blood. Jesus, strengthen us by the by your might. Jesus, strengthen us and protect us in the name of Jesus. Jesus, cover us. Lord, I'm safe in you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I got to run to Jesus. I run to him in the morning. I run to him in the noon. Day. I run to him at night. Jesus, there's safety in Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus. I need some Jesus callers. Call on the name of Jesus. When I call, the more I call on him, the better I feel. The more I call on him, the more I get healed. I call on the name of Jesus. I call on the mercy of Jesus. I call on the protection of Jesus. I'm supernaturally protected because of Jesus. I need you to pray. God, supernaturally protect me. Lord, supernaturally protect my spouse. Lord, supernaturally protect me on this job. I'm, I'm supernaturally protected. People are going to look up and they're going to say, listen, how you made it? Because I was supernaturally protected. How you come out? I was supernaturally protected. How your house didn't get under the flood and everybody else was flooded. I was supernaturally protected. How you got the house? I was supernaturally protected. How you surviving? Glory be to God in this pandemic. Hallelujah. You didn't know her. I've been stopped surviving. I'm thriving in Jesus because I'm supernaturally protected. No weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. And every tongue that rises against me, Lord, you condemn them. Lord, you condemn them. I cast my cares upon the Lord. I give him my children. I give him my marriage. I give him my finances. I give him my future. I give him every enemy. I give him every enemy. Every person that's coming against me, I put them in the master's hand. Lord, this battle is not mine. It is the Lord's. You got to open your mouth and declare this battle that I'm fighting right now. It's not mine. It is the Lord's. This battle is the Lord's. He said, he said, every tongue that rises against you, I will condemn it. I will condemn it. Those tongues will fall in judgment. Those tongues will fall in judgment. And that's why, listen, you got to be careful about talking about people. Because if they ever pray that scripture, God is going to deal with you. 
And that's why a lot of people have to understand they have to repent. Lord, if I said anything, because when these attacks start coming, they're like, oh, Lord, Lord, if I did anything, I for, you, you people, I for, I, I, Lord, forgive me, forgive me. That's why you got to pray for forgiveness every day. Because you can just be laughing and giggling. You done said something about somebody and they done get, because listen, pe the people can do dirty, but if they ever say, Lord, forgive me and Lord, put my life back on journey and Lord, anybody that's coming against me, I give it to you. You better come out of that. You better come out of that because the Lord don't play about his children. He don't play about their children, his children. Hey, da, 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 bo, sha, ta, da, da, da. So, ka, ta, da, 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 bo, sa, ka, ta, da, 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 ba, so, ka. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. He said, when a man weighs, when a man weighs, please the Lord. He makes even his enemy at peace with him. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to make people at peace with you. Some of you all, some people have torn your name down. You don't even know it. Some people, they are just sitting around talking about you. You know, I was, um, I was doing something and the Lord said, go and watch. Look how so many people are watching you. They don't support you publicly, but they secretly watch you to see will anything bad happen. Some people will check on you just to check on you if anything bad happens to you. Lord, I don't know where this evil came from. Lord, I don't know where this jealousy came from. I don't know where this competition come from. But Lord, I pray now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just want to please you. Lord, I seek you. Lord, the Bible says, when you please me, God says, when you seek after me, he said, when a man weighs, please the Lord, huh? Lord, it ain't about me. It's about your will. He said, I'll start making people be at peace with you. God is the one that can change the hearts of wicked men. God is the one that can change the hearts of wicked people. God is the one that can change the hearts of people that is driving. They are dri the uh, evil driving force against you. Lord, I just declare you put them at peace with me. God will put people at peace with you. There are people that's coming to be at peace with you in the name of Jesus. Huh? Hallelujah. And God says, when you begin to give, give him your life, he says, I will wake people up uh, to reach out to you. Hallelujah. To help you. Hallelujah. There are going to be many that's going to reach out to you. Hallelujah. And, and they're going to say, how can I help? How can I be a blessing? How can I help? You see, listen, that's why you can't give up. You can't give up. You can't throw in the towel because God is going to, he's going to change the hearts of some people. They're going to say, listen, I'm called to help you. I'm called to bless you. I'm called to open doors for you. I'm called, come on. You, that's why you can't give up because there's some people that God himself, he's going to wake up. God, I declare the name of Jesus. You begin to send people to favor them, send people to open doors for them, send people to be kind to them, send people to help them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord. God. Hallelujah. That Lord God, we repent for trying to give up. We repent for complaining. But today we open our mouths and we speak. Hallelujah to the problem. We speak the solution to the problem. We speak the solution to the problem. We see the answer. We see the answer. And the answer is Jesus. We see the answer. And the answer is Jesus. We speak the solution and not the problem. Speak the answer and not the problem huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? Some of you, you've been magnifying devils. God says, but magnify my name. Huh? Make God, God says, I'm bigger than that pain. Huh? I'm bigger than the divorce. Huh? I'm bigger than that problem you were in. Huh? Somebody say, God is bigger. God is bigger. Whatever issue you're dealing with right now, huh? I need you to open your mouth huh? and make God bigger. Magnify his name. Huh? God is bigger than your sickness. Huh? God is what sickness? God is bigger than that. Huh? God is bigger than that financial issue. God is bigger than your trouble. God is bigger than what you're facing. Magnify the Lord. Listen, put the devil small. You got to say God is bigger than demons. God is bigger than that family issue. God is bigger. Hallelujah. You magnify the Lord. See the solution and not the problem. Speak words of faith. Speak words of faith. You got to get in the word. Find scriptures that you got to stand on and begin to speak speak words of faith. Hallelujah. God has the final say. God has the final say. I don't care what you say. God has the final say. Stay in prayer. Stay in fight. Stay in pray until you see a breakthrough. Hallelujah. Speak words of victory. Speak words of healing. Speak words of healing. You know, um, I was ministering to this lady and she was in a marriage and she said her and her husband, they were so they was fighting so 
So she like, I don't know how we're going to get out of this. I said, listen, your words are powerful. You just said you don't know how. You got to say, yes, we are. You, do you know there will be demons that will try to tell you that your husband or your spouse is a bad person to you? The devil will say, listen, you are toxic. You are speaking what he's saying. See, what the devil is doing is speaking in your ear. You got to say, listen, my husband is not toxic. I'm not toxic. Come on, somebody. You got to literally begin to change what you're speaking so you can change what you're seeing. And I get, I begin to tell her, y'all got to change what you're saying. I say, you got to speak words of healing. The only way you can kill whatever this devil is doing is change what you are saying. So now speak words of healing. And I told her, I said, you know what? Let's silence that devil and go ask him to go on a date. She said, but we ain't talking. I said, let me tell you, words of healing, words of honey, words of kindness can change a person. All they need, come on, because if you go remarried, do you know when a person remarries, they just start, this person, this new person is kind. This new person is friendly. This new person is speaking kind. You got to change your language. I'm telling you, in the midst of them getting a divorce, she began to do everything I'm saying. She began to start speaking words of honey. The way she came in, listen, she was like, he ain't doing this. He ain't doing it. I said, listen, speak words of honey, meaning maybe you need to remind him. Hey, babe, uh, can you help me with the dishes or can you help me with the trash or can you help me with the dogs or can you help me with the children or can you help me with the car? S some people that are to a place because it's so it's so crazy what the devil has done in that family to you probably thinking, why do I even have to ask? Why do I have to ask a man? Why do I have to have ask a woman to be there for the children? Why I have to ask a man to be there for his own children? Why you know Some people, they are in certain demonic torments right now from the enemy. So words of honey will say, can we do it together? She started being kind to him, being kind to him. And she said, he looked up. You normally curse me out. You normally do this. You normally always telling me how bad I am. You normally always telling me what I can't do. So literally, she literally was the, really making this man weak. And she said she had to learn to go back on a journey of speaking healing. Listen, speak healing over your children. Speak healing over your life. Healing is not just all what you think. You got to begin to repair. I hear by the spirit. God says, I want to repair some things. I want to repair some things. That means some things have been damaged. There's a damaged marriage, a damaged finances. You can repair things. Lord, give me wisdom on how to spend, how to budget. Lord, come on. The Lord says you got to speak healing over your body. Speak healing over yourself. I am who God called me to be. I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. Speak words of faith. Speak ver words of victory. Stop praying and saying, God, I need, I need, I need, and start praying. Change your prayers to prayers of victory. We already got it. I thank you, Lord, for this. I thank you, Lord, for the job. I thank you, Lord, for in increase. I thank you, Lord, for expansion. I thank you, Lord, for what you have already blessed us with. But things you really need, you begin to act as if you pray as if you already have it and you receive it. Speak victory over yourself. Start calling your finances forth. Some of you right now, you need to pray right now in the name of Jesus. I will not leave this month empty handed in the name of Jesus. I will not leave this month empty handed in the name of Jesus. Come on, st start calling your finances forth. Call your finances forth in the name of Jesus. I call in resources from the north, supply from the north, the east, the west. Come on, call it in in the name of Jesus. By the month of November, I will not be late on nothing. Come on. Let me tell you something. You better know where your help comes from. You better know where your help comes from because people will act as if you need them. But you better let them know, listen, you can keep acting like that, but I know who helps me. I know who helps me. God can literally send it through a mail. God can send it through a family member that was saying, listen, you know, I just came into a property. I don't need it. That's your house. God, some of you, I see moving trucks. I see moving trucks. I see moving trucks. Start calling things forth. Start calling. 
calling things forth. In the name of Jesus, by November, everything will be paid on time and for. But some of you, before more, no, November even hits, you God will send the resources. Lord, I call forth the resources. God, you promised to supply all of our needs according to your riches. Come on, you got to pray this thing into existence. If not, you'll look up, November will come, and you're like, well, I don't have the money. The devil is a liar. God said he will supply. God, you said you will supply. I don't know how it's coming, but Lord, I position myself that I will be at the right place at the right time. Lord, I declare that the, the, that the boss will bring a November bonus. I prophesy a November bonus, a November bonus that the boss will say for some reason, because it's the month of gratitude. It's the month of Thanksgiving. I want to give y'all extra money. And that's going to be the extra money to pay the car. No, that's going to be the extra money to pay off the house. That'd be extra money to pay the light. I'm telling you, God will supernaturally overwhelm you with his goodness. God will super, he will supernaturally send supernatural finances. I need you to open your mouth and pray. I will not leave this month empty handed in the name of Jesus. I'm leaving it with full supply. If anything is bagged up for the month of October, I declare I'm leaving this month fully supplied. Everything that rightfully belongs to me in the name of Jesus be release, be release, be release, be release, be release, be release in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare I have all the resources. I declare here's the scripture Exodus 3 and 21. God says, I'm gonna give you favor. Give us favor, God. Give us favor, give us favor, God. Give us favor in business, give us favor in ministry, give us favor with people, give my children favor. Give my spouse favor. Prophesy. Open your mouth. Don't sit there and be defeated. Lord, I need favor. Lord, I'm not, I don't want to be disadvantaged. Lord, favor me in the city. Lord, favor us with properties. Lord, favor us to pay it off in the name of Jesus. And he says, and it shall be when you go. Yeah, listen, we're about to leave out of this month. We're about to leave out of the month of October. He said that you shall not go out empty handed. I'm not leaving this month empty handed. Everything that rightfully belongs to me, my children, my family, my home, my business, our ministry, and, the, and our health in the name of Jesus. I'm not leaving this month until if God promised me this month, I shall, I, be, I shall be healed. In the name of Jesus, I command the healing to flow. I'm not leaving this month empty handed. Open your mouth and pray. I shall not leave this month empty-handed in the name of Jesus. Everything that rightfully belongs to me must be released. Everything that rightfully belongs to my children must be released. I call it forth from the north, the south, the east, the west. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. I call forth, start calling forth your finances. Start calling forth provision. Start calling forth in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. I take it back by force. Everything that the enemy has stolen from me. Everything the enemy has stolen from us. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I call forth my healing. I speak forth my healing. By his stripes, I'm healed. By his stripes, I'm healed. Listen, if you prayed it right now and you still don't see the healing, you're going to pray it in the noon. You're going to pray it at noon. Then you're going to pray it at night. Then you're going to pray it again in the morning. I'm not stopping until it's released. I'm not stopping until this thing breaks. I'm going to continue to pray. I'm going to continue to pray in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the violent take it back by force. You got to get violent and take back what rightfully belongs to you by force in the name of Jesus. I'm healed. My marriage is healed. My children are healed. My body is healed. My eyes are healed. My body is healed. My business is healed. Our finances are healed. Our ministry is healed. Everything that's around us is healed. Our family, our children, everything is healed in the name of Jesus. Now I call for helpers. I can't do this thing alone. I can't do this thing alone. Lord, I humble, I humble myself before you, God. I can't do this alone. I can't do ministry alone. I need your help. I call on the help of you. 
you, oh God. Lord, help me. Holy Ghost, help me. I can't do ministry alone. I need your help. I can't do business alone. Lord, I need your help. Send the right people. Remove the wrong people. Lord, I need your help. I can't do this in our, alone in our marriage, with our family, with our children, financially. God, we need your help. You better open up your mouth. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Open up your mouth and ask the Lord. Lord, help me mentally. I got to go on the job. They are looking for people who are very highly intelligent. Lord, supernaturally, put intelligence on me to do your will. Lord, don't make me be brought to shame. Have mercy upon me. Show us mercy in the name of Jesus. Now we call for supernatural destiny helpers. Lord, send in helpers. We call in helpers from the north, the south, the east, and the west. People that will help us in ministry. We call you forth. Come to me now. People that will help us in business. We call you forth. Send the right people. Remove the wrong people in the name of Jesus. Anybody that's on a demonic assignment that's sent to destroy me, remove them now. Block them now. Don't even let them get near me. I put a blood hedge around me. Don't let all oh, that Jezebel spirit that's assigned to destroy you. You better cover your husband. You better cover your sons. In the name of Jesus, you will not destroy us. Ah, send the right people and remove the wrong ones now in the name of Jesus. I will be cancer free. I will be debt free. Come on, somebody. The Lord says something about free. He says free, free, free yourself today. By the power of the Holy Ghost, when you begin to open your mouth, the angels of the Lord is going to make it happen. The angels of the Lord is going to make it happen. I'll be cancer free, debt free, problems free, sickness free. Come on. I don't know what the free is, but you better open your mouth because the Lord says, I'm about to free you now. I am free. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. I am, hallelujah, debt free, cancer free, hallelujah. Open your mouth and free you, free yourself today. Hallelujah, the enemy will not destroy us. Hallelujah, I'm free from demons. I'm free from mental attacks. I'm free from depression. I'm free from sadness. I'm free from frustration. I'm free. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yes, I'm free from what the people, what people think about me. I'm free from people pleasing. I'm free. I'm free. The Lord is setting somebody free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, today, the Lord says, his voice activated today. His voice activated. His voice activated in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. Now, listen, don't just be selfish and say you free. My spouse is free, cancer free. My spouse is debt free. My children are cancer free. My spouse, my, my children are debt free. Our business is debt free. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. Our ministry is debt free. We owe no man nothing but to love them. I command the debt to hallelujah hallelujah to be paid off hallelujah, eradicated in jesus name the lord is getting ready to honor you grace for honor is coming upon you grace for honor is coming upon you oh the lord is going to honor you for your faithfulness the Lord is, he sees, he sees how you pray for others. He sees how you can be consistent about praying for your family. You're consistent at that thing. The Lord says grace for honor is upon you. Uh-huh. That is a grace that's going to distinguish you from your peers. That's a grace that's going to distinguish you. The Lord says, I got to distinguish you from other people. I got to distinguish you from, from people in your, 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 uh, your colleagues. He said, I'm distinguishing you. I'm distinguishing you from people in ministry, from people in business. I there's a grace to honor you. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. That there is a grace where the Lord can distinguish you. Lord, give me that grace. Lord, I have to be distinguished. You're not like an average prayer warrior. You're not like an average intercessor. You're not like an average prophet. You're not the average prophet. You're not the average pastor. You're not the average entrepreneur. Lord, distinguish me. Lord, distinguish my children. 
Lord, distinguish my children. I know they only uh, six months, uh, but you can pray that baby uh, into a kingly anointing. Uh, Lord, this, I don't need, I don't know who I'm prophesying to, uh, but the Lord is distinguishing you uh, while you're on here. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, there will be something unique about you. Uh, there'll be something different about you. Uh, heart of Isaiah. Go read up Anna. Go read up Anna in the Bible. Go read up Anna, prophetess Anna. They called her prophetess Anna in the Bible. They called her prophetess Anna in the Bible. They called her prophetess Anna in the Bible. And when you read about Anna in the Bible, prophetess Anna, there's nowhere in there she's prophesying. Mm. Nowhere in there that you that you see her prophesying. When you read up Anna, she's always interceding. She's always interceding. She's just, she's an intercessor. She's an intercessor. She's interceding for Jesus. She's interceding. She's praying. She's like a prayer warrior. But the Bible never calls her an intercessor. The Bible calls her a prophetess. And, and, and some of you all, you got to understand that God, when God distinguishes you, they'll say, listen, you don't act like the normal people. You don't act like Anna. Anna, Anna was a prophet in the Bible. They said she was prophetess. They called her prophetess, but you don't ever see her prophesying. There's many of you all, you're going to understand that just because you ain't calling somebody's name out, don't mean you ain't prophesying. Oh, you can prophesy through prayer. You can prophesy through the scriptures. You can prophesy with your life. You can prophesy over your children. You can prophesy. Come on, somebody. The way you pray for your children and you see supernatural results, you are a prophet. Hallelujah. Because everything comes to pass. Can you birth the prophets? Can you birth the purposes of God over your children's life? And it comes to pass. Can God trust you with an assignment over your spouse that this person will not fail under your watch? Can God trust you with a church that I have given you this church and I have given you a hundred people? These people cannot fall under your watch. That's a lot of praying. That's a lot of praying. Glory be unto God that God has gave you a supernatural grace in a mantle that these people cannot fall under your watch. That's what Anna was. She was an intercessor. She ain't call nobody name out. She didn't say, so-and-so, I got a word for you. She was an intercessor. They knew when she prayed, she got answers. But the Bible says she wasn't an intercessor. She was a prophetess. So we found out that every prophet is an intercessor. Oh, you better put that in the comment section. Every prophet is an intercessor. Don't tell me you can prophesy, but you don't like prayer. Don't tell me, come on, all you want to do is say, thus says the Lord, thus says the Lord, thus says the Lord, thus says the Lord, and y'all not praying? Come on, somebody. Some people have to understand that the power of prayer can push you into the prophetic. Hallelujah. I declare that the Lord, somebody already done put it up. That's Rosemary Salem. Rosemary Salem already done found the scripture. She done found the scripture. Glory be unto God. Luke, come on, come on, write that down. Y'all better write it down and read it up. Read it up. Hallelujah. You better write it down and read it up. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. You see, the Lord will distinguish you. See, some of you out here running, copying people. I want I want the anointing of so-and-so. I want the anointing. No, the Lord said, be like Anna. They call her prophetess, but really her anointing is an intercessor. Ooh, ha, rabba, so good. The Bible gave her a title. She was a prophetess. And when you hear the word prophet, it's the first thing you'll think. Oh, they all they do is just call out people. Prophesying is more than just calling out people. There's a place for that. But I'm talking about real prophecy is birthing the purposes of God in prayer. And when you can birth some things out in prayer, I'm here to tell you, God will make you a sign in the wonder. I a wonder. I declare in the name of Jesus that the Lord will distinguish your anointing. The Lord will distinguish your anointing. May the Lord activate your voice now that you will begin to prophesy through prayer. You begin to prophesy over your finances. You'll begin to prophesy over your business. 
You'll begin to call forth the clients from the north, the south, the east, and the west. There are many of you, you are called to do some great things and you see empty pews. The Lord says, prophesy. And he said, and within three or six months, you'll see me fill up every pew. You'll see me fill up every pew. There'll be months where you will go through demonic attacks and the enemy will try to hinder people from coming. But the Lord says, don't give up. He said, continue to prophesy. They continue to prophesy. You remember the Bible, Ezekiel prophesied to the dry bones. The Bible said, prophesy to these dead bones. You got to prophesy to the dead church. You got to prophesy to your dead finances. You got to prophesy to the dead marriage and say, come alive in Jesus' name. Somebody said, I'm going to learn how to birth things out in prayer. I'm going to learn how to stop giving up and birth it out in prayer. Stop giving up. Ain't nobody coming to my, my anointing services. The Lord told me to do anointing services. Ain't nobody coming. Can you birth it out in prayer? Can you birth it out in prayer? Every time I go live, ain't nobody watching. Every time I go live, ain't nobody watching. You run your mouth too much. You, you do more talking. Do you do praying? You do more. Talk. Listen, I'm telling you, some of you are going to have to stop answering your phone. You 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 answer the phone, but if you, you're going to have to have boldness to know how to get some people off that phone because I'm here to tell you, don't let no demon keep you defeated. Open your mouth and pray. And say, Lord, I birthed this live out in prayer. Lord, you draw people from the north to south. And don't even get into asking God about drawing this and that. Lord, empower me. Sometimes you need to be empowered. Sometimes you need a grace on you. Sometimes you need an anointing, a mantle, a, ma a mantle on you. That listen, you ain't even have to ask because your mantle speaks for you. Your anointing speaks for you. Because the sad thing in the world is to ask God to send all these people to you and you got massive people coming, but you ain't got nothing to produce. You don't have nothing to say. You don't know. How, you don't have nothing. You don't, you're empty on the inside. How can you pour when you're empty? How can you pour into somebody if you're empty? Go get full, fill up. It's a retreat. The Lord, I keep hearing the Lord said many of us need to go on a retreat with God. Before ah, Sekita, you can't keep pouring from an empty well. Since January, the enemy been sucking the life out of you. Since January, the enemy been sucking the the, the life out of you. But the Lord says, I want to pour back into you. The Lord is going to voice activate you through the prophetic, and one day the nations are going to hear what God is doing in you. One day the nations are going to see what God is doing in you. When you faithfully stay submitted to what God told you to do. I don't care if it's two people. You faithfully stay committed to what God told you to do. One day the nations will hear what God is doing on your life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Somebody said, my latter days will be better. Hallelujah. Than my beginning. Your ending is going to be better than your beginning. He says, your next years are going to be your best years. Your next years are going to be, somebody prophesy, my next years are going to be my best years. I don't care how you started. He said, how, the ending is going to be better. My next years are going to be my best years. These next couple of years are going to be my best years. Yes, God. Prophesy. He said, keep declaring by the spirit of God and watch God honor you. Keep declaring by the spirit of God and watch God honor you. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? I thank you, Lord God, that you are keeping us. I thank you, Lord God, that you are lifting us. I thank you, Lord God, that your light is shining upon us. Your light is on me. Darkness has fleed. Darkness has fleed. Darkness is gone. I command darkness, darkness to go. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the light of God is shining upon me. This is my season. I can't be hidden. The light of God is upon me. The light of God is upon my business. The light of God is upon my on me on, on my job. You're shining, baby. I see in the spirit, you're shining. 
You're shining. And that's why the enemy can't stand you because you're shining for Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Everything you do, you want people to know Jesus. Everything you do, you're like, listen, if you're going to eat these cakes, you better eat these cakes knowing Jesus. The light is upon you. Darkness got to get off your children. You're going to see the light of God on your children. They're going to come to you screaming. I told you, go, go watch the go watch last night video. My daughter was screaming. She was excited because a prophetic word came to pass by her being in prophetic services. A prophet walks up to her and said, you are struggling in math. I see you struggling in math. And she looked at because she like, mama, I can't get it. Because she kept telling me, mama, I can't get it. Mama, I can't get it. But supernaturally, God empowered her. Supernaturally, God empowered her. She said, mama, I can't get it. This lady walks up to her. Didn't even Listen, that's why you got to learn when you on an assignment. You don't show up in services because you got a mic. You show up because a mantle is on you. There's somebody I need to minister. I'm not taking over the service, but I'm here for somebody. And that woman of God walked up to my daughter and said, I see you struggling in math. But God is going to supernaturally change things around and you're going to be acing it. You're going to be acing it, acing it. My daughter looked up. She said, Mama, I don't know how, but I'm making straight A's. I'm making straight A's in math. She said, Mama, I don't mean last night we made her get up in the mic and testify. She said, Mama, I don't know how, but God has supernaturally gave me a grace to do this work. And I literally, I said, listen, I prophesy you will graduate valedictorian in the name of Jesus. Because let me tell you something. How you started, the enemy wanted you to cry. He wanted to wear you out because it was hard for you. But how you finish, God got the last say. God got the last say. And some of you all, your start wasn't good, but your ending, your next, your next years are going to be your best years. Y'all don't want to hear me in here today. Y'all don't want to hear me in here today. The light of God is shining upon you. That's the light of God shining upon you. The light of God shining upon you. I didn't know how, how sad she was. Mama, I'm not getting the grades that I need. I'm in 11th grade. Lord, I, I, Lord, I need help. But then God has, the Bible says you can prosper through the prophets. Uh, Y'all better know scriptures. Go read that scripture. Google it. You can prosper through the prophets. That means God can send a prophet to you that can help you prosper in math, help you prosper in ministry, help you prosper in business. One prophetic word can change your life. One prophetic word can shift the entire nation. One prophetic word can literally get you out of bondage. The Bible said, and it was through a prophet. Y'all don't want to hear me in here today. Where is that scripture? And it was through a prophet. God delivered them. Come on, come on. Here you go. Hosea 12 and 13. What does the scripture say? What does the scripture say? And by a prophet, and by a prophet, and by a prophet, God can bring you out. Listen, listen, sometimes, listen, I'm her mother. But sometimes God got to use another prophet to prophesy to our children because sometimes your children can get too common with you. And I'm here to tell you, she was smiling last night in service as she was testifying, mama, mama, another a prophet came. She wasn't caught up in the prophet. It was God sent a prophet to encourage her. You will prosper in math. God will send a prophet to help you. Listen, it's not for you to suck up to these titles. It's not for you to dishonor these titles. It's not for you to abandon these things. God will send a prophet to bring you out. They was God brought them out of Egypt because of Moses. God calls him a prophet. God used a prophet to bring them out of bondage. Hallelujah. And it was a prophet. Listen, keep reading and it was a prophet that was and, and it says and by a prophet they was preserved god says a prophet can god can use a prophet to come to you to preserve you in ministry preserve you in business preserve your health preserve you that means god will keep you strong to finish your assignment god will use people prophets to help bring you out Oh, the Lord brought my daughter out. Oh, ya da 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 basaya. Oh, la da bandebe koshaya. Oh, rabasaya. Listen, that's why I told you to read up on Anna. 
because people think, oh, you got to call people names out all the time. Sometimes somebody is interceding from you. That's why you're coming out. And then God will send someone to give you an audible prophetic word that can bring you out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. The light of God is on you. I'm prophesying. I'm prophesying to everybody that's on you. The light of God is on you. You can't be hidden. You can no longer be hidden. The light of God is upon you. The light of God is on your business. The light of God is in your ministry. The light of God is upon you. You can't be hidden in the name of Jesus. Glory be unto God. He's shining his light upon your children. If that's the light of God, that he's shining the light of God on your family. He's shining the light of God on your finances. And he said, everything you're going to do, everything your hands touch is going to be blessed. Everything's I, everything I lay my hands to do is blessed. Just prophesy that over yourself. Everything today you prophesy is voice activated. You prophesy over yourself. Everything I lay my hands to do is going to be blessed. So if you go and open up a restaurant, it must be blessed. It can't fail. God is on that thing. God is backing it up in the name of you. Everything I lay my hands to do, that means your children are blessed. That means your home is blessed. That means your everything you touch is blessed. Be careful what you touch because they'll be blessed. Everything I touch is blessed. That's a scripture. When man says no, God is going to say yes. When man says no, God is going to say yes. I don't care what man said no. That means there's a yes out there. I'm here to tell you, the Lord says when you hear no, remember I told you there's a yes somewhere. I'm here to prophesy to someone. When man says no, uh, there's a yes somewhere. So if somebody keeps telling you no, that is God telling you that is not your door. Keep searching. Keep going. Keep moving. Because when man says no, you're going to hear a yes in the name of Jesus. When man says there's a casting down, God says there's a rising, there's a lifting up. When man says there's a casting down, God says no, there's a lifting for her. There's a lifting for her. There's a lifting for him. There's a rising for her. There's a rising for him. The Lord says when man says you are supposed to be cast down, God says no, there's a lifter for you. I'm lifting you. I'm rising you up. I'm raising you up. I'm raising you up. God is raising me up. There's somebody speaking over your destiny now. Uh-uh, you're supposed to stay cast down. You're supposed to stay low. You're not going to go higher. God says, when man says no, God says yes. And I'm raising you up. The last thing, the Lord says, I break premature death off of you. You will not die before your time. Somebody just pray, I will not die before my time. I will not. Some of you was feeling like giving up when you got on here. But the Lord says you will not die before your time. You will not die. I need you to pray and break premature death. Premature death means you wasn't supposed to die, but you died early. And some people you got to see spiritually and through the prophetic lenses in your eyes. Some of you all, the devil wants you to your business to prematurely die early. That means you don't last long in business. Some people are dying early. Oh, the Lord said, cancel the funeral. Ah, oh, shut up in ministry. I cancel the funeral. Mm -hmm. I cancel your funeral. Somebody just type that in the comments. We cancel funerals today. We cancel by the power of the prophetic. I cancel your funeral in the name of Jesus. You will not die prematurely. You will not die before your time. You, your children will not die before their time. Your ministry will not die before its time. Your business will not die before its time. I'm telling you, you will not die before time in Jesus name. Mm -mm. Satan, take your hands off now. Take your hands off them now. In the name of Jesus, loose, loose, loose us, loose. Take your hands off of my life. Take your hands off my business. Take your hands off my health. In the name of Jesus, loose us, loose us now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I come into my prophetic prophet. I come into a prophetic season of victory in the name of Jesus. I will not abort this season. I will not abort this season in the name of Jesus. I will not abort this season. I will not abort this season. And I will not be, I refuse to be defeated by the devil in Jesus' name. This is my season and I shall win. I'm on the winning side. 
I'm on the winning team. I am on the winning team in Jesus name. That funeral is canceled. I don't know who I needed to say that to. You may be in the hospital, but your funeral is canceled. There are some people waiting. The Lord says, I'm going to literally just like Hezekiah. Hezekiah, when he heard the news that he was going to die, he turned his face and changed the prophecy. I don't know who needs to read up. Read up on Hezekiah. Hezekiah changed his prophecy. Some of you need to get aggressive and change. I don't receive that prophecy. That is going to take me 10 years to, to uh, I refuse it. I rebuke it. In the name of Hezekiah changed his prophecy. You got to give me another word, Lord. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hezekiah turned his back against the wall and, and he began to cry out to the Lord. And the Bible says right before the prophet could even leave, God said, go give him another word. The Lord says, I'm adding years to your life. I'm adding years to you. Some of you, you went through hell and business. The Lord says, I'm adding more years. Hallelujah. This time around, you're going to see the goodness of God on that business. You're going to see God says, I'm adding years to you in ministry. You're going to see the goodness of God. And I don't know who I'm prophesying to. And the Lord says to prophesy to someone, the anointing of Jabez. Jabez's mama prophesied doom over her, over him. When she had him, she said, you, I birthed you in pain. It was so much she said negative over him, but he did not allow his mama's, his mama decree over his life to destroy him. So Jabez begins to turn a scripture into a prayer. And you got to pray. Just some of you need to pray, Jad Bass. Oh Lord, bless me. See, my mama said I was born. My name was bad. My name. I was born into pain. And he said, he said, Oh Lord, bless me. Bless me. You got to cry out like Jabez. Lord, bless my children. Lord, bless my spouse. Lord, bless us in ministry. Lord, bless us in business. He said, Oh Lord, that you will bless me. And he said, And that your hand will be upon me. And that you will enlarge my territory. Some of you got, I see expansion, expansion, expansion. May the Lord expand you in ministry. May the Lord expand you in business. May the Lord expand you. There's an expansion happening to you in ministry and business over your life. You, God says, and may I, he said, Lord, and may you enlarge my territory and may your hand be upon me. Hallelujah. There's some people, they supposed to help you, but they wouldn't, but God God, put your hand upon me. When the hand of God is on you, you can recover anything. Can you just type that in the comment section? When the hand of God is on you, when the hand of God is on your life, you can recover from anything. He said, and let your hand be upon me. He said, and keep me from evil. See, when you are blessed and you speak in the blessings of God, evil comes, evil doers, evil eyes, evil mouths. They come and speak against you, but you got to stay ahead of the enemy. You got to stay ahead of the enemy and cover yourself in the blood. Don't sit there and let the devil attack you. Cover. He said, Lord, keep me from evil. That's something you should pray every day. The Bible says these men wouldn't eat or sleep until they killed, oh, I believe it was Paul. They would not eat. That You don't know the level of evil people would do to see your demise. The Bible says they wouldn't eat nor they would sleep until they killed him. They wanted to kill him. That means people will miss food just to see you, ah, just to see you destroyed. And you know, people love food. But when somebody got evil in your heart, the Bible said they wouldn't eat or sleep until they came to kill, they tried to kill him. Y'all know that scripture. Look it up. Lord, keep me from evil. You better learn how to pray that prayer. Lord, keep me from evil. And then he said, and that I may not be in pain. Don't let me be in pain. Because his mama said, you cause me pain. You cause me pain. He had to begin to prophesy, recreate his story from what his mama spoke over him. And the Lord answered his prayer. I declare the Lord is going to answer your prayers. May the Lord answer. May the Lord answer your prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to tell God, thank you for this prayer this morning. Tell God, thank you today. Just, just bombard the comment section with thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the word. Thank you for prayer. Thank you for strengthening us. Thank you for prophetic decrees. Thank you, Lord God, for the woman of God. Thank you for Apostle Eckhart for having this Saturday broadcast. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you for everybody in this perspective place. Thank you for the intercessors, the ones that's hidden. We don't even see them, but they're praying behind the scenes. They're covering the lies. They're making sure the internet, they're making sure that the purpose of God will prevail. They are the ones that's praying behind the scenes. Lord, we cover the internet. We cover the services. We cover their bodies. No, no sicknesses, no attacks, no evil. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you are a shield for me. You are a shield for us, God. You are our glory. And you are the lifter of my head. Ah, thank you for lifting me. Thank you for lifting my head, God. Thank you for lifting my head, Jesus. Thank you for lifting my head. Somebody say, God, thank you for lifting my head. You are my shield. You are my glory. And God just lifted somebody's head. Ain't he's a wonderful God. Ain't he good? Ain't he good? God is so good. He just lifted my head. Somebody came on here with their head down. But God, just lift your head. You better lift your head up. You got purpose in you. I'm going to teach you how to birth out the purposes of God through prayer. God is going to teach you how to birth out the purpose of God through prayer. And he's going to make you a sign in the wonder. And people will know that God is on your life. Somebody say, God, bless me for your namesake. Lord, do it for your namesake. Lord, do it for your namesake. And I don't want no credit. I don't want no credit, God. But you, God, do it. Do something unusual in my life for your name's sake. I'm telling you, the Lord is going to do some mighty things in you and through you. Oh, my goodness. If you just hold on to the horns of the altar and you don't let go, don't you dare let go. Don't you let go until God bless you. Amen. I want to open the, the doors today for salvation. If there's somebody that's watching and saying, listen, I don't know Jesus, but I want to give my life to Jesus. If that's you, repeat this prayer to me. Father, I confess that I'm a sinner. Wash me, save me, deliver me, set me free. I want you to be Lord and Savior Jesus Christ over my life. Satan, you have no right to touch me. I don't belong to you. I belong to Jesus now. I belong to Jesus now. I commit my body as a, 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 a surrender my body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Jesus. I give my life to Jesus. If you prayed that prayer, welcome to the body of Christ. Welcome to the body of Christ. Welcome to the body of Christ. We pray that Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you to the right church family. We got some free information to give you if you just gave your life to Jesus. If you just gave your life to Jesus, I want you to go to this website and go to New Believer, New Believer. And there's some free resources we want to give you. We have a book that we want to give you for free, but it's, it's still being written. But you go here is some more information on our Discovery Center page. Amen. We'll be having service live tomorrow on social media at 1 p.m. at our Discovery Center. But this is a place, a center where we help people to discover who they are in Christ, where we have some free information to give to those who want to give their life to Jesus. So just put that information on the screen to get information about salvation. Amen. Amen. Those who are on and you said, listen, this word bless me today. Amen. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to sow an $88 seed for new beginnings. Eight represents new beginnings. If you can't sow the 88, then may the Lord show you 28 or 58 or 78. Put an eight in your seed. I want to pray for every seed sower and I want you to name your seed. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to continue. I, I refuse to be defeated. I refuse to be defeated because you're going to open your mouth wide. And the Lord is going to fill it. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Amen. Those who are sowing. Amen. I want to pray over every seed sower. Amen. Be led by the spirit of the Lord. If the Lord tells you to sow, you sow. If he doesn't, don't, don't sow. But those of you who the Lord is telling you to sow today, we bless God for Apostle Eckhart for having us live on his broadcast on this Saturday broadcast. Those who are sowing that $88 seed, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon you. And those who are sowing in the number eights, maybe it's an 88 or a 28 or a 78 or maybe a 108. I don't know. Whatever the spirit of the Lord tells you, if he tells you to sow a 108, remember, it is through obedience that we are blessed. Obedience in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we honor God with those seeds, some of you are sowing 18 or $8, whatever it is. We want to pray over every seed sower now in the name of Jesus as you honor the Lord through giving. Amen. 
there's a way we can honor the Lord. You can honor the Lord through giving. You can honor the Lord through giving. So, Lord, we give unto you this sacrifice today. We sacrifice. You know, Halloween is next week. There are a lot of kids will be missing. Different people will be missing because sacrifices, which is in order to go to a higher level, they have to do blood sacrifice. And in order for you to go higher in God, you can sacrifice just like witches sacrifice. Christians can sacrifice as well. You can sacrifice your food. You can sacrifice your time. You can sacrifice your life. Every morning I pray that prayer, Lord, I, I sacrifice my life unto you. I commit my body as a living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Do whatever you want to do. I'm yours, Lord. I'm Lord's yours. I know it sounds creepy, but witches sacrifice different things to get more evil powers. And that's how they get stronger. And so you have to understand, even as a Christian, if a witch can get stronger, Christians can get stronger and you can sacrifice in prayer. You can sacrifice reading the word. You can sacrifice by giving your time to God. God sees those as sacrifices. And one of the biggest sacrifices, which a lot of people, they kind of shove away from is your money. Because where your money is, that's where your heart is. And when you challenge people to sow, they're like, mm -mm, I need that. Mm -mm, I need that. You have to understand that you don't have to always sow, but you better learn how to sow being led by the spirit of God. When the spirit of the Lord unction you, Amen. He doesn't tell us to sow all the time, but when he does tell us, when he challenges you, obey the spirit of the Lord, because there are blessings in those sacrifices. Amen. May the Lord bless you. And I speak the scripture over those who are sowing. Amen. Today, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord overturn or and may you not leave empty handed. Amen. May you not leave this month empty handed in the name of Jesus. Everything that has been has been held up. We declare a supernatural release in the name of Jesus. We declare over many of you as you're sowing today by the spirit of the Lord that he will overturn supernatural things for you in the name of Jesus. Glory be unto God. We declare, Lord God, that there will be an overturn. There will be an overturn. There will be an overturn. There will be an overturn in the name of Jesus. He will turn it around for you in the name of Jesus. Oh, my goodness. We thank you, Lord God, that it's already done. We thank you that it's already done. We thank you, Lord God, that it's already done. In the name of Jesus, we declare overturn, 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 and it will be no more. And you, will, God, will give it to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. We speak Amos 9 over every person that things are going to happen so fast that our heads are going to swim in the name of Jesus. It won't be long. It won't be long. Things are going to happen so fast that your head will swim in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We praise God for the word of God today. And we thank God for his power and we thank God for his strength in Jesus name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you and may you be blessed in Jesus name. Amen. Well, we thank God for you today. Amen. We just pray you shout your states and your city out. We're going to um, fast and pray. Make sure you join in next Wednesday. Next Wednesday at 5 a.m. prayer, we're going to be praying for you in Jesus' name. So set your alarm clocks. Get up. Listen, we're not stopping until it breaks. We're not stop praying. We're not going to stop praying until it's released. And even when it's released, we'll come back and tell God, thank you. Because now you're teaching us that to whom much is given, much is required in the name of Jesus. And so we praise God for training us and strengthening us for where he's about to take us. So we bless God for different states and different regions. Lord, as they type their states on, we continue to cover them in the blood, cover their families in the blood, protect them from all uh, uh, evil, harm, danger, cover them from straight bullets, cover them from the disease of the weak. We speak Psalms 91. We run to the secret place, cover their children, cover their spouses, their marriages, cover their finances. We speak Psalms 23 over every person, overflow overflow, overflow. Lord God, that they will continue to see overflow for October and we will see overflow in November. We prophesy it. Many will testify the Lord gave me overflow. Speak Psalms 23 over your life every day. Speak Psalms 91 over your life every day in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We declare people will come out of ICUs. Healing will take place. We declare supernatural strength. We speak peace and we declare a turnaround, a turnaround to your situation.
situation in the name of Jesus. And we cover you. We cover you from every blockage in the name of Jesus. We break the spirit of delay off of you. We break the spirit of delay off of you now in the name of Jesus, and you shall recover all. Amen. I see many of you coming in from Nevada, you uh, Texas. God bless you, Georgia. God bless you. Amen. I'm Jackie Fleming. I'll put, I'll tag my name at the at the top of the video. It was an honor to minister to you today. I pray that you was blessed. Amen. Let's stay connected. Listen, make sure you stay connected with me. Listen, I am back on my Instagram page. Make sure you stay connected with me on Instagram. It's Jackie Fleming one. <laughs> and if many of you all can't spell my name uh, right here, you got to put those two M's on there. You got to put those two M's on there. Yes. And don't be inboxing me. Do you know the Flemings and the Flemings? No, I was married into the Flemings. I'm a Fulton by my mother and father. I'm a Fulton, but uh, by married. I am a Fleming. Amen. So I don't know the Flemings, but I know my husband. Amen. <laughs> I don't know that last name, but I know my husband. Amen. Glory be unto God. So yes, I am Jackie Fleming on Instagram. Jackie Fleming one on Instagram. Make sure you can stay connected to me on YouTube. YouTube is blowing up y'all on YouTube. Yes. So um, you can follow us on YouTube as Jackie Fleming. Amen. And on Facebook, Jackie Fleming. Amen. Make sure you go to the website, www.jackiefleming.com. Let's stay connected and let's continue to do the work for Jesus. Paul told, Paul told them in the Bible, follow me as I follow Christ. If you're following someone, make sure they're following you to Christ. They're leading you to Christ. Amen. Because we don't want to just follow someone and they just follow him. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. So the Bible teaches that there is a uh, biblical uh, leadership that you can follow. He said, but you follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. We bless God for you all. We'll see you soon. And I'll be ministering with some of you all tomorrow. We have virtual Sunday services uh, at 1 p.m. at the Discovery Center. Amen. Glory be unto God. I'm excited about that service. We'll see you soon. And don't forget to join us for Glory Nights. November the 17th is free in Atlanta. Make sure you make your way here. All the information is there. And make sure we see you. Those of you who are part of the Discovery Center will be ministering live tomorrow at 1 p.m. Stay connected. God bless you. We'll see you soon. Amen. God bless you.